and it was just something out of the blue. The chairman ran to say, would I be interested? And listening to what they had to say about the club, it just felt really, really uh, nice that, that there was a lot of huge potential. I know that's a, that's a sort of word that's used far too often probably in, in football, but Helston cer certainly has. And where they've come from all those years ago in the early 90s, I used to drive past literally every day, either up to Truro or into Helston from from Mullen. I've set, watched the club grow to where it is now. And um, uh, the first team lost its way a little bit. Otherwise, if it hadn't, to be perfectly honest, I'd, I'd, I would be here now or just discussing it. So that's that's always the thing with football jobs. It's, it's because 90 odd percent of the time that there's, things have gone wrong. The, the management lost its lost its way. Discipline was earned, and the very fact that actually at this this stand, which is at semi-pro football, at step six, to not fulfil one match, it's just never heard of. But to not fulfil two matches, which they did at the end of the season, that that was really uh, it was embarrassing for for everybody concerned, and they knew then that there had to be something had to change. And things. I just thought there was, there, there, was, there was so much that I could actually contribute and, and I just felt motivated and the old passion was, was, was being driven again and, and I got excited about it. Um, although having, having been in it now what, a couple of months, there are, I wanted one or two of the old things you think, oh God, that's it. There's, there's some good, good players there that just probably haven't, haven't haven't been motivated enough or had the confidence given to them to say, you know what, I think you could play it higher. Do you want to play higher? And, 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 and I think it's worked both ways. One of the things, oh, I don't want to jump into the, into the fire a bit really because I'm not, is that, um, would, it, would it be good enough? I don't know. Nobody's actually said that. Right? Yeah, so probably I'm not then. And then on the other side, the manager have actually not been confident enough or bullish enough, whatever, when you go to actually say, yeah, I think you're going to, I think you can play, let's, let's play them. So that's what I'm excited about and actually giving them the opportunities. I, I certainly think there's a number of guys there that, that actually could make some of the league sit up and take notice and think, oh, where did he come from? So he's, been, he's been playing combo football for every week. I do. I really do believe it's a big, big pool of talent down there. Oh, but they weren't in the Vars until last year. That was the first season of in the Vars. So that was, and that shows how pro progress they've made, which is brilliant for the, for the club where it's come on and the lights they've got now and the, and the enclosed ground and things and the, and, the, and, the, and the facilities that are there. And the next thing they wanted to do is play in the greatest cup competition in the world and be part of that. And that's the FA Cup. And you have to gain so many points on average. Uh, so you so, Oh, you, it probably means you have to finish maybe in the in at least mid table, top half of the table, to be accepted into the FA Cup. So that's the aim. I don't see any reason why if we if we're um, uh, organised enough um, and we've got plenty of plenty of passion and, and, and hunger from the from the players that we can't we can't finish in that mid, mid table at least. That's what about this 2020 vision you've got? Yeah, yeah that's, that's... Are you going to be there in two, three years' time? <laughs> People keep saying that, yeah, yeah. Whether it'll be fr front line, I don't, I don't know. I already see I've got some, some good coaches in, in the round. I don't think you say there's, there's Nigel material. Um, I, 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 I think I'll have to... Ideally, but like for, to actually just just to sit back and and, and and oversee. But I, I had the reason why I, I took on and, and decided to went to actually go front line and be the manager because I don't think I've been able to actually not not meddle or not um, in, interfere with teams that even if I had a manager or a coach in there and just put my little piece, you know, one of these things. But not not, not arrogantly, but I, I just couldn't help but think. Oh, I would have done this. I would have done that, you know. And to be perfect, while I still feel I, I would love to be in the dressing room and in, in the dugout, and you know, the tactic.
tactical game of move of players or if it needs something changed or move or it's not quite working out this. I love that. I love that challenge and that side of it. And that's what uh, that was a big driving force as well coming back in. And it, that, yeah, I'd like to be able to do that again. I've been sat watching too many games which I've loved, you know, but there's never been, there's not any game I've been to watch that I haven't felt, oh, I wish I was down with that touchline, I wish I was down making that decision, what's he saying at half time now and that, that type of thing, you know, and, and particularly on that, on that Saturday night after the game or after any, any of the games and you've had a win, that's, that's a fantastic feeling, that's a fantastic feeling and that's, and I've, and I've missed that, you don't, you don't, you can't, as well as sometimes it's, yeah, the life was it, was it was really nice and I had a lot, lot of ups, but not that real peak, that spike of just the thrill of your team winning is is brilliant. You know, that, that's what I that's what I missed. So I I hope I hope there's a few more of those left. Yeah.